Hey guys, today I want to show you how to remove the account from a uh, LG K7. This will work for a K10 and K8. So, as you can see, I'm log out. It's my own account right now, but I just wanted to show you how to do it. So, we're going to go back to the main menu or the from setup page right here. Uh, remember, you have to be connected to the Wi Fi. So you can do this. So we're going to go right here. We're going to click on accessibility. We're going to go to vision on top. We're going to talk back, move up, go to test to speech. We're going to go to settings right here. There's a little setting logo on top. Let's go here and feedback. All right, we're going to go to feedback. We're going to move up a little bit and go to terms of service. All right, as you can see, that will bring you up to the this page right here. It will ask you if you want to, if you accept the terms and you click yes. If you want to sign in, no thanks. All right, so we're going to click on the Google logo here. All right, this is a uh, step that I haven't seen online yet. So this is going to give you access to the Google, um, to the settings on the phone. So what you got to do is sign in online here. All right, so I'm going to stop the video so I can sign in. I'll be right back. As you can see right here, guys, I'm logged in. And here's the reason why. That will give us act that will give us access to the Google app. So we can go to settings. All right, we we're gonna type in Google app and we're gonna click on this one right here. The reason why, if you're not signed in, it will take you to the Play Store and it won't let you log in in the Play Store. So if you're logging online, it will let you access the, the Google uh, app. I don't know if you can see, it says install. It wasn't installed before, so it's installed because I have it on my Google account. So it will let you open that up. We're going to click on it, all right? And um, it's going to ask you if you want to sign in there. No, you don't want to sign in there. All right. So we're in the Google app right now. So we're going to type in settings. As you can see, settings is already here. We're going to go to settings. All right. Then we're going to go to apps. We go to apps. We go to all apps right here. We go to all apps. We're going to go down to S to find setup wizard. We're looking for setup wizard here. Let's see. I went too far. Let me see where is it. All right, it should be here, right here. Setup wizard. So what you want to do here is uh, we're gonna clear this right here, and we're gonna force it to stop because you can't disable it so you just force it to stop you go back and we're gonna go up to Google Play Store Google Play Store alright we're gonna do here is force it to stop first and then disable it alright and we're also gonna clear the data alright so what you gotta do here you gotta hit the back button all the way to the beginning, to the front page, uh, setup wizard menu. All right, we're gonna keep going back. And we're gonna get to the front setup wizard menu. All right, here we are. And we're just gonna click next. I'm connected already, so you can even, uh, let me see if it works. No, you still have to be connected, so, all right.
right. I'm going to turn that back on. And we're going to click next. It shouldn't ask you for, for any uh, account information. Right now, it shouldn't ask you for a password or anything. So let's see what happens. It's checking for updates. Um, this might take a little while, but um, like I say, it shouldn't ask you for any password or account information in there. We should be able to bypass um, the Google account there. And then what you got to do uh, when you get on the phone, in the phone, you, you just have to um, reset it. And um, you should be fine. You should be able to use the phone. Um, all right, this might take a while. I'm going to pause the video here and I'm going to come back on the next screen. Okay, guys, I'm back. This took forever. If it's taking too long for you guys, just press the power button and restart your phone. Don't turn it off. Just restart the phone and um, it will bring you back to over here. I don't know why it's doing that again, but I already passed through this. So um, I will show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to restart the phone right now. Because it, it was taking too long for me there. So let me see if I can restart the phone. Alright, power off or restart. Let's see here. I was able to bypass the thing already. I don't have an account on there. I just went back to show you and now it's checking for all the updates and things again. And the connection, so yeah, all right, it's booting up right now. All right, we're gonna we're gonna hit next. <clears throat> we are really connected. Skip anyway. All right, so you here, guys? So it's gonna ask you for your name. So we're gonna skip all of this. And we're going to agree to that. If you have a T-Mobile phone, you have to do this. If not, that will be fine. So here we go, guys. We're in the phone. In, um, if you want to reset the phone, you could. We're going to go to settings and um, general. We're going to go to um, backup and reset right here back up and reset and um, factory reset so I'm at 28 percent it won't let me do it now but if you want to reset the whole phone again you could do it it doesn't have an account on there so that'll be it for today guys thanks a lot